Welcome back. In this video, I will discuss back propagation algorithm with the help of solved example. This is the solved example number four. Link for other examples is given in the description below. In this case, we have been given a neural net with three layers input layer, hidden layer, and output layer. There are two neurons in input layer, two neurons in the hidden layer, and two neurons in the output layer. 0 0.05 and 0 0.10 is the input. We have been given the weights W1, W2, W3, W4 are the weights with respective to hidden layer neurons. W5, W6, W7 and W8 are the weights with respective to output layer neurons. B1 and B2 are the bias with respective to hidden layer neurons. B3, B4 are the bias with respective to output layer neurons. So, in this case, uh, we need to propagate this input from input layer neuron to output layer neuron. And then uh, we need to calculate the error. Based on the error, we need to update the weights here. Now, the question comes in front of us uh, like how to propagate the input from input layer neuron to output layer uh, neuron in this case. So, first, what we do is uh, we will calculate the output at uh, hidden layer neurons. To calculate the output at hidden layer neurons, uh, first we need to calculate the net input. On the top of that uh, net input, we need to apply the logistic activation function so that we will calculate the output of uh, hidden layer neurons. The logistic activation function looks something like this f of x is equal to 1 divided by 1 plus e raised to minus x, where x is the net input here. Now, output at h1 is equal to f of net input. Net input, how to calculate? It is the uh, sum of a uh, multiplication of uh, weight and uh, input here. So, that is nothing but uh, at h1, uh, w1 i1 plus w2 i2 plus b1 into 1 here. So, that is what the net input. On the top of this net input, what we are applying? We are applying the logistic activation function here. Now, once you put the values here, uh, you will get f of 0.3775. Uh, that is nothing but 1 divided by 1 plus e raised to minus 0.3775. And once you solve it, you will get output at h1 is equal to 0.59327 here. Similarly, we need to calculate the output at h2 here. Again, we need to calculate the net input. That is nothing but you can see here uh, w3i1 plus w4 is coming towards h2 here. So, w4 i2 plus b2 into 1 here. And then uh, once you solve it, you will get 0 0.3925. f of uh, 0 0.3925 is equal to 1 divided by 1 plus e raised to minus 0 0.3925. Again, once you solve this uh, equation, you will get 0 0.59689 here. So, this is the output at h2 here. Now, once you calculate the output at uh, uh, h1 and h2, now, we need to calculate the output at O1 and O2 here. Again, uh, the same uh, activation function we are going to use, that is the logistic activation function. And the concept is same. First, we need to calculate the net input. Once you calculate the net input, we need to apply the activation function. Again, what is the net input in this case? The net input is, you can see here, towards O1, W5 is coming and W6 is coming. So, W5 multiplied by the output of H1. That is nothing but out of H1 here. W6 multiplied by output of uh, H2 here, that is nothing but out of H2, plus B3 is coming here, so B3 multiplied by 1. Again, once you solve it, you will get F of 1.10591, uh, that is nothing but uh, output at O1 is equal to 0 0.75137 here. Similarly, we need to calculate the output at O2 here. Uh, if you notice, uh, towards uh, O2, W8 uh, is coming and W7 is coming. So, W7 multiplied by output at H1, that's the first one. W8 multiplied by output at H2, multi, uh, plus uh, B4 is coming uh, towards O2, so B4 multiplied by 1 here. Once you solve it, you will get uh, F of 1.22492, uh, that is nothing but 0 0.77293 here. So, output at O1 and O2, we have calculated. Now, once you calculate the output at O1 and O2, we have already been given the target here. Based on the target and the calculated output, we need to calculate the error here. To calculate the error, we use this equation. Error is equal to half of squared the difference between target and calculated output. So, 1 by 2 multiplied by target is how much at this O1, T1. What is the calculated output? Out of O1 bracket square plus 1 by 2. T2 is the target at O2 minus calculated output is out of O2 bracket square. Again, we have already calculated these two values. T1 and T2 are already given to us. Once you put all these values, we will get E is equal to 0.298371. This is the error at output layer neuron in this case. 
Now, once you calculate the error at output layer neurons, uh, the next step is to update the weights with respect to output layer neurons. That is nothing but W5, W6, W7, W8, B3 and B4 here. Now, how to update these particular weights is, uh, uh, first we need to calculate the error uh, with respect to O1 and with respect to O2 here. Because overall error we have calculated or the overall error uh, with respect to O1 and O2. Now, we need to calculate the contribution of O1 and contribution of O2 here. Based on that, we can update these particular weights. So, once you calculate the contribution of O1, you can update W5, W6 and then B3. And once you calculate uh, the contribution of error at O2, you can update W7, W8 and this uh, B4 you can update here. So, that's the reason. First, we calculate the contribution of uh, error with respect to O1. That is delta O1 is equal to T1 minus out O1, out O1. That is nothing but target uh, at uh, O1 minus the output at O1, calculated output, multiplied by the calculated output, multiplied by 1 minus uh, calculated output here. So, this is a standard formula in BAP progression algorithm. Now, once you put the values, we have already calculated out O1, T1 is given to us, you will get the delta O1 that is nothing but minus 0 0.013850 here. So, this is the error uh, with respect to O1 here. Now, once you calculate error with respect to O1, uh, next step is to update the associated weights. As I said earlier, W5, W6 and B3 can be updated here. W5 is equal to W5, that's the old weight, plus the learning rate multiplied by delta O1 multiplied by out H1. So, out H1 is known to us. Uh, delta O1 is known to us, W5 is known to us, the learning rate uh, given in this problem definition is 0.5. So, all those values are known to us. W5 is equal to what? Uh, 0.35892. That is the modified uh, weight here. So, previously it was 0 0.40. Now, it is 0 0.35892 here. Similarly, W6. W6 is equal to W6 plus learning rate multiplied by delta O1 multiplied by out H2 here. Once you put all these values, you will get 0 0.40867 here. Similarly, we need to update B3 here. B3 is equal to B3 plus the learning rate multiplied by delta O1 multiplied by this input that is nothing but 1 here. You will get 0 0.53075. Previously, it was 0 0.60. Uh, similarly, we have to calculate the delta O2 here. Delta O2 is nothing but T2 minus out O2. Out O2 multiplied by 1 minus out O2. We need to put all the values, you will get the delta O2 here. Once you calculate the delta O2, you can update W7, W8 and B4. W7 is equal to W7 plus learning rate delta O2 out H1 here. Because this one is uh, being updated with respect to H1, so we need to take out H1 here. So, once you put all the values, you will get 0 0.511130. Similarly, W8 is calculated and B4 is calculated here. Now, we have updated all the weights with respect to output layer neuron. The next step is to update the weights with respect to hidden layer neurons. For that reason, we need to calculate the error at H1 and error at H2 here. To calculate error at H1 and H2, we can use this formula that is uh, delta H1, that is uh, error at H1 is equal to error at O1, that is uh, the error whatever we have calculated at O1 multiplied by W5, that is this one. This is the uh, W5. And uh, a plus error at O2 multiplied by W7. So, these are the two things we need to multiply with respect to these uh, errors here. Multiplied by out H1, whatever the out, uh, output of H1 is there, multiplied by 1 minus out of uh, H1 over here. So, once you put all these values, you will get minus 0 0.00877. Uh, once you calculate the error at H1, we can update W1, W2 and B1 here. Again, the same formula, W1 is equal to W1 plus learning rate multiplied by delta H1, whatever the error we have calculated, and its input. Input is how much now? Uh, I1 over here, uh, W1, we will get 0.14978 here. Similarly, we can calculate W2 and we can calculate B1 in this case. Now, once you update these three things, uh, next step is to calculate the error at H2 here. Now, if you want to calculate the error at H2, Delta H2 is equal to delta O1 multiplied by W6 here. Now, this weight. So, with respect to this edge, we have W6 here. And with respect to this uh, O2, we have uh, W8 here. So, plus uh, delta O2 uh, multiplied by uh, W8 here. Multiplied by out of H2, multiplied by 1 minus out of H2. 
again all values are known to us if you put it you will get minus 0 0.00995 here once you calculate error at h2 we can update w3 w4 and b2 here w3 is equal to w3 plus n uh, learning rate multiplied by delta h2 multiplied by i1 here that is again the input once you put all the values you will get 0 0.24975 similarly we can calculate the modified uh, weight of w4 and b2 here now once you calculate update all these weights uh, uh, we need to replace the old weights with respect to the new weights this will complete the one epoch so after one epoch uh, we have uh, propagated the input from input layer neuron to output layer neurons we have calculated the error here now uh, if the error is acceptable you can stop otherwise what we need to do is uh, as said earlier we have already updated the weights again we need to propagate the input from input layer neuron to output layer neuron again we have to calculate the error again if the error is acceptable you can stop here otherwise you need to uh, repeat the same uh, process until the error is minimized or you can say that uh, it has reduced to uh, acceptable error in this case so this is how the back propagation algorithm works i hope the concept of uh, back propagation algorithm is clear if you like the video do like and share with your friends press the subscribe button for more videos press the bell icon for regular updates thank you for watching